Hello kids, Steve coming right back at you, and today on Things That Interest Me Thursday, I think I'm going to show you a few things. Now just so you know, because I will be occupied for most of the weekend, I am going to keep my regular schedule videos per day as planned as best I can. I'm going to try to record them ahead of time and then drop them on the day that we talk about. So first up, we have a couple of Star Wars figures I have collected throughout the years. The first one is very, very interesting. Chewbacca on a Luke Skywalker card. So that's kind of an error right there. But look at the back. This was actually a bootleg Star Wars figure I bought back in the mid-90s from eBay it's from South America what they did they took the actual figure they made a outer cast mold of it and then when that was all cured they poured all the stuff inside the mold or the different molds to like this the torso everything the gun the head the arms then they popped them out and made a figure and then mass produced it so they are a little out of the regular figure size and not as detailed but I figured that's a very interesting one to have I like it no idea what it's worth <clears throat> another one from the mid 90s was the power of the force series one to Luke Skywalker X-wing fighter pilot but the long saber variant, the long lightsaber variation. That is still desirable in cells. I've got all the price guides from a year or two ago and even on eBay. This thing sells for a premium because they figured the lightsabers were too long and then shortened them real early in production. So to me, that one's cool. I hope you all have a great Thursday today. I do hope that your Wednesday was beautiful. The next three come from one of the first trilogy series that they made. Let's see what the years are on these right away. 2004. And again, in the price guides and on eBay, these sell for a little bit of money here. These three can be had for about 85 bucks, maybe 75 on a good day. First, we have The Empire Strikes Back with the original Darth Vader picture they put on the card back in the early 80s with the updated figure, which is really cool. So that's the trilogy of The Empire Strikes Back. You can see a couple of the other ones they made there. That one, I believe, books at about 20 bucks. Next up, this one here books at about 25. That's again the original Princess Leia photo they used on the original Star Wars card from 1977 with the updated skinny figure. And those are the figures on the back of that one that you could collect. These are really neat. I like the way they did the original card and picture with the updated figure. And now this one books for between 30 and 40 just because it was in the later series, Return of the Jedi. People would rather have Leia, Luke, Boba Fett, Darth Vader. Not a lot of Chewbacca fans out there. But again, the original picture on the original card reprinted with the updated figure. Much bigger than the regular figure. And see, they did make my boy, Boba Fett. And that was the first one I ever owned as a kid, was the Star Wars Stormtrooper, which is really awesome. Wish I had that again still on the card. I did buy one about 25 years ago for 100 bucks, and I resold it, which was not smart of me. But these are just awesome, awesome collectibles for Star Wars fans, for nostalgia purposes, for people that like toys. Or people that like money. Now, the other thing that interests me today 
is mail. And I got mail from Redbeard Breaks. And that is my address for now. So, we will get into this. Yeah, you gotta like Redbeard Breaks, because, like, in the word of my brother, in the words of my brother, he does have a red beard, and if you watch his channel, he does like to break things. So that's really cool. So let's see here. Jimmy, I do believe some of these are winnings from breaks, and this one here is an awesome winning when I had Bo Bichette in one of his breaks. Look at some of the cards I got. The Titan Rookie card. That's all sorts of sparkly. I do love that. We have a Sean Yamaguchi rookie card from Chronicles. Like I said, I had Toronto in the break. This one's really cool. The Bo Bichette season ticket. Rookie card Prism. It says Prism on it. That's awesome. Now, this one here is a Bo Bichette Timeless Treasures rookie card. When I pulled Toronto, I had no idea I was going to get all these Bo Bichettes. We have two Bo Bichette 2021 Donners. Team variant, we have Toronto and, what does it say, the Six. So that's awesome. I do like that. I did get a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Diamond King prism. So that's cool and nice. I love the way they did Diamond Kings this year. And the two that absolutely took me by surprise. I got the box hit at the Unleashed Numbered Bobochette. Freddy over at Last Traps Baseball. Surprisingly, got an Unleashed Red Parallel Mark McGuire, much lower numbered card out of the same box. This is five ninety six of nine ninety nine. You can hardly see it there, but I do. I love those Unleashed cards. And the hit, I did get a press proof numbered two out of five, Bobuchet. And even though I like Boba Shed, even though I like numbered cards, I would sell that right now for 200 Box Fresh, you can watch and pull it out of the pack on the video and put it immediately into the sleeves. So that is cool. Love it, love it, love it. Next up, what do we got here? Looks like a little package of cards. Maybe this, yes, this would have been an auction win. Because I do like his auctions. Got Adrian Gonzalez. Just the one big old relic card. It's a bat relic. Got a Juan Soto paper from Bowman. I know the Pacific Nolan Ryans don't mean much to a lot of you. But these prism ones that they did way back in, what is this, 91? Are just awesome, awesome cards. Had to get Brandon Lau all nice and mojo like. That's a cool card. What do you think, Bobby? Huh? And I think he's still going to be a stud. Shane Bieber. Wish I had his rookie cards, but I'll start collecting a few of his stuff every now and then here and there. Now, I do see where he sent me. More of the cards when we broke the Sport Kings 2021 Series 2. I'm just going to show you these quickly. Not a lot of you are interested. Got Goose Gossage. But I think they're neat and cool. They look rubbing you out. You know, a lot of people are in here. I mean, there's Vince Carter, Daryl Waltrip with the Budweiser hat. We did get a horse, Ted Simmons in the Hall of Fame. And we have Emmett Smith, Roger Staubach, Bill Russell. That's cool. Bill Russell and the blue variants of Drew Brees and Ted Simmons. Nice, nice cards. I do love these. So thank you for forwarding those to me, Jimmy. You didn't have to. I appreciate it. Now, what do we see here? This package 
Oh, there's, he did gift me the Christian Yelich purple variant from Inception. Because I'm a big old Brewers fan, as most of you know. Oh, and there's the Giannis brothers, the Antetokounmpo's out of the NBA hoops. It's the um, jersey swap. All three of them, two on the Bucks, one on the Lakers at the time of this picture. I do believe this would be my Boston and Baltimore break I got from him. Didn't do as well, but you know what? It's always a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Anthony's Santander. Beautiful, beautiful Diamond Kings again. I like the new style. Rento Nunez. Cal Ripken. I needed that one. And David Ortiz for my Hall of Fame. Rafael Devers. Martin Perez. And a Bobby Dahlbeck. I do believe that's my first Bobby Dahlbeck. So that's cool. And finally, from the pack of, what is this, Tops Heritage Miners that was gifted to me. I don't recognize most of these names. Nick Madrigal, I think most of us do recognize him. Rutledge. And that's all that I recognize. So again, many, many thanks to everyone that contributed, everyone that gifted, always. Many thanks to Jimmy over at Redbeard Breaks. He's always got lots of good stuff going on. Check him out. And that will do it for today. I will get rid of my garbage here. And remember, guys, I do want you all, as always, to be excellent to each other. Treat everyone with respect. Be the best you that you can be. Check out the COA with Last Draft's Baseball. The one and only Bud Stoney Brewers cards forever. Like Father, Like Son, Another Hollis Build. Redbeard Breaks. Big D Sports and Collectibles. DK Subconscious. Myself and others. And this Saturday, most of them will be playing Family Feud. John Rademacher has been asked to join the COA. So that would be exciting for everybody. Check out whenever he takes over my channel. Most of the time, it's Takeover Tuesday. Always good stuff about him. Nice collections of things other than sports cards, which is what this is. We're not just baseball. We're not just sports. We've all got collections of stuff. We've all got collections of different types of knowledge. And John has collections of embarrassing moments of me throughout my life. So watch those. They're fun. With that, I will leave you all the way I leave you every day. Peace.